Hello and welcome back everyone. In this clip I will be going through mail merge. The task that you will be completing is task 1 student letter mail merge. Before we get started it's important that you know what mail merge is. Mail merge is basically a document which is designed to be sent to many people. The document consists of two components which are the master document and the source file which contains the names and addresses of the recipients. So data from the source file is combined with the master document so that key fields do not need to be typed in one by one. This will save time and reduce the chances of errors in the document. As you can see from the images below, we have two different types of source files. You can have an Excel file or an access file and these can be combined with the Word document which where you might have your letter typed up or your reports typed up combined together which will produce your output. So let's look at the task now in more detail. What I am looking for, task one, student letters, mail merge. In order for you to be successful in this session, you need to prepare a mail merge letter using the student letter document as your master file and the student table as your source data. And you only can merge the letters to students from Stretford and Swinton. Recipients can be unticked to not to be included in the mail merge as you can see here only pupils from Stretford and Swinton have been selected for this mail merge so please make sure that you only tick the students from Stretford and Swinton once you've done that you need to insert the relevant address fields insert a date field and add your name at the bottom of the letter so let's get started then to complete this task, you need to have access to the following files. I've made these available through the description below. So the first file is the student letter. This is considered to be our master document. The second file is a PowerPoint going through the task. And the final file is the student table, which is our source data. To start off with, I would like you to open up the student letter document. When you open up the document, it should look like this. So to start off with the mail merge, what I would like you to do is select the mailings tab at the top, so select mailings, and then go to start mail merge. From here, go all the way down to step by step mail merge wizard. When you click that, a panel should appear on the right hand side. Here, it's asking us to select the document type. What type of document are you working on? So we're creating a letter. So this is the document that we are going to be working on. So. I would advise that you have the first one selected. Once you're happy with that, you need to select next starting document. Here it's asking us, how do you want to set up your letters? And again, we want to use the current document and then select next. And here it's asking us for the data source. So what we need to do is use an existing list use names and addresses from a file or a database. So we are going to locate the source data. So locate the Excel file, the student table. Once you've located it, select it and open it. Here we're creating a connection with our master document. You should get a window popping up, select table, OK. Once you get that, you should get the mail merge recipients. So as per the task requirements, we were asked to create a mail merge for only people from Stretford and Swinton. So what we need to now do is untick anyone that is not from Stretford or Swinton. So this person here is not from Stretford or Swinton and this person and there's one here. So once you're happy with that, select OK. Well done, we've just completed the first part, which was to combine the two documents together and merge the letter to students from Stratford and Swinton. So we can tick that one off. The next part is to insert the relevant address fields, insert a date field and add your name at the bottom of the letter. So let's look at the layout first. So as you're aware, the student address, the recipient address goes to the right. Below that, we need to insert the date and then the parent's name, dear parent's name. And at the end, we need to insert our name. So let's go back to the document and complete this part. OK, now it's time to insert the fields. But before we start doing that, we need to ensure that our cursor is in the correct position. 
I want my cursor to be here top right so I can insert the recipient's address. So to do this, you can click on the top left hand corner and then go to the Homes tab and write a line. So the addresses uh, of the recipients will go here in the top right hand corner. The next step will be to select the Mailings tab and then go to Insert Merge Field and select Name. Once you've done that, you can double click below the name. It can be tricky at times. So there's multiple ways of doing that. So just, just double click or you can click on the second line and right align it again or press enter. Once you're on the second line, you can go back to insert, merge field and select address line one. And same again, double click on the line before or go to the left and right align Go to insert merge field town as you can see i don't have space there to add the next one so i'm just going to hit enter and insert merge field postcode so there you have it i've successfully inserted the recipient's address and i can actually check that too by selecting the mailings tab and going to preview results so i should see all the different uh, recipients here and their addresses so I can scroll through to ensure that I've got the correct recipients as you can see I've got only Stratford and Swinton once you've done that I'm just gonna untick preview results and go to dear here we were asked to insert the parent name so once you've inserted the parents name the final task was to insert your name at the bottom so I'm going to insert my name and then preview my results. And let's flip through now just to double check once again if we've got the right fields in the right places. And yes, we have. If you do or if you have made a mistake, don't worry. You can go back to the edit recipient list and tick or untick the correct fields. So just make sure you're aware of that edit recipient list if you do make an error okay the next step will be to add the date so to do this what you need to do is select where you want to insert the date so I want to insert it just here going to press the space bar then go to the insert tab and select quick parts and from here I want you to select field so insert field now where it says field names, I want you to double tap on the D key on your keyboard. So you go down to date and then choose a suitable format. As the format has not been specified in the requirement, so you can choose any format for the time being. But remember in your exam, they will tell you we want the format to be DD slash MM slash year YYYY. So or it could be the other way around. So I'm just going to choose the 29th September 2020 and then select OK. And there you have it. You've inserted the date successfully. For the final part of the task, you are required to add a minimum of three features to the mail merge master document to suit a professional letter. So make sure it's three features minimum. So the features that you could have a logo, company name, contact details, web address, address, shapes, lines. As you can see here, I've inserted the logo. So that's one feature. I've inserted a line going across. That's two features. I've inserted the company name and I've inserted the web address. So I've added four features. So I'm looking for a minimum of three features for you to add. So let's get back to the document and add a minimum of three features. I'm going to add the features in the header. So to start off with, I'm going to go to insert and then select header and select blank and delete the text. The next step is to add a line going across. So to do this, I'm going to select the insert tab, go to shapes and select line. Now, when I'm doing uh, creating the line, I'm going to hold down the shift key to ensure that the line is kept straight. And then I'm going to go to the shape styles and add some thickness and color to the line. Once you're happy, you can move the line up or down, whatever suits you. 
uh, and then once you've done that you're ready to move on to the next feature now the next feature that I intend to add is a logo so I'm going to create a logo by selecting the star I'm going to hold down the shift key when I'm creating the star to maintain the aspect ratio and just change the color so select the shape styles and change the color and I'm just going to move the line slightly down so it's not overlapping with my logo and the next step is to add some text and I'm going to use word art so I've decided on this text and I'm going to insert an A for all just position it correctly and ensure that it looks professional and then go back to insert word art and add the second name so here I'm going to add Saints. So now I've got two features created. I need another one to meet the criteria or I can add as many as I want. But they have to be a minimum of three. So the next feature that I'm going to insert is the name. So I'm just going to press the tab key so the cursor moves to the right. And I'm going to add the name of the school, All Saints School. Once I've done that, I'm going to add a fourth feature, which is the website. So All Saints, uh, Saints School uk. Once you're happy with that, you can close the header. Just count how many features you have. So I have one, two, three features. The next step will be to save your master document. Now in your exam you will be asked to print out the master document showing the merged fields. So to do this you will need to go to mailings and preview results. Uncheck that so we can see all the merged fields and then you would need to print this document off. However uh, we are not printing this off but I would like you to submit the master document and to do this what you need to do first of all is save it so go to file save as give it an appropriate name and in an appropriate file so I'm saving this in my task one folder called student letter master document and then hit save so my master document is saved the next step is to complete the mail merge so in order for you to complete this mail merge you need to go back to the mail merge tab select next write your letter and then hit next again to preview your letters and then you need to select complete the merge and now select edit individual letters and then click on ok ensure that you've selected all because we want all of the people from the Stratford branch appearing so once you've selected all select ok and a new window should pop up with the letters going to all of the people from the Stratford branch so once you've done that you need to save this as the mail merged letter so again go to file save as find an appropriate location and I'm going to call this student letter underscore mail merge so you would need to submit both your master document and your mail merge document 